Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator App. Today I'm going to do a quick video about my favorite clam right here. So, this clam is by... I actually use a lot of clam, catalini, and all of the stuff to rig 260 gear. But I think this is probably the most versatile and most reliable clam ever. It's actually by UNIZ called UU Rig. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, this little thing, I can take it out right now. So how it works is, as you see right here, this whole thing, right? Uh, you have little teeth right here, and they're really well made. They are like really light metal, but it's metal, right? And then if you crank it like this, you get it, it, this thing you go onto any pole area. You can be a light stand, but for me, for you see VR, we need a small footprint. So you usually clamp this on your monopole. So this is fiber on it. This is actually my noodle linzer. Uh, so right here, we'll just put it in right here. And so this thing is really light, uh, not just like the, the cheap clamp that you get on internet or eBay. This is actually controllable. So it will not destroy your pole because this is carbon fiber. If you put too much strength, it will destroy this thing. So this, this tension right here, will really perfectly get it on. And then after you loosen it up, you can align it. Again, here is the Voyage Audio new microphone. It's an A channel and microphone, microphone with a uh, afro on top. So capture that like, nice audio. Oh, by the way, so what we're doing right now is we're gonna capture a meditation session in front of the beautiful ocean in Point Dune, California. And see, Kitty, which is holding the camera right now, uh, she will actually sit on here and do a meditation session and we'll capture the ambisonic audio with this camera, the Insta using One X2 right here. So this this is the ambisonic A-channel microphone has to align perfectly with the camera. With a clamp like this, allow me to adjust that in post. I mean, adjust the position line right now. Uh, and then align the camera center point directly with the camera center point so we don't have to do any whole production to align 16 channel and personic with the mic with the camera footage we can just align perfectly so that is one thing and i think this microphone actually have a uh, uh, one four screw drive uh, screw hole right here and then i'm actually going to show you like what, what happened to this thing let me take that get it off right now so another advantage of this uv rig is you have a lot of hole right here allow you to mount screw this come with it by the way it come with the rig as well so this is the 3A or the RE uh, screw hole right here. You can go right in here. Now you can mount anything in 3A. Uh, let me just go in, get it in. It's kind of cold here, it's winter, right? Uh, so, and all this hole, uh, this thing actually doesn't come with the, the rig, but all there's a four hole line on each side. And right here as well, all this hole can mount like one four or three a onto it. I just basically mount this in here, so I can put the light on top of this thing. So when when it mount, I put the light right here to light the subject if I want to. And then is this thing right here? I take it out. Again, this also have a screw that you can get it out and mount on different locations. So you can mount on different location on different position of the microphone, depending on where's your uh, th uh, one form mount. So for here, I'll just go ahead and mount this microphone stand right here. Easy. And then just go ahead and clamp it onto the pole. Like so, and then align it. it see, it's really quickly, really fast. And then if I need to align the level, horizon level, I also have a head right here. So I can adjust the head. So I just need to make sure that again, and for something audio, you have to make sure make sure the microphone is absolutely level. If not, your microphone sound sphere is not gonna match with the music sphere. That's why this thing is so important. Allow you to really like mount on not even surface, not not like level surface. Like right here, we are on the sand. It's not level. It's actually go downhill. We can adjust tilt up so the microphone align with the with the camera capture right here. So there you go, that is set up, ready to go, hit recording so we can have a nice 360 man experience. So that is the multi clamp I used from UIZ called UU Rig and I highly recommend anybody should get it. It's also really cheap as well, it's not expensive and it's great for travel to mount any light, any camera, any audio gear you want, both for 2D and VR. Now let's talk about tripod removal. So my original tripod removal tutorial using GoPro Max and Adobe Photoshop is still one of the best way to remove a tripod. But not everyone uses Adobe products 
And in all honesty, Photoshop is actually not the best to removing objects in 360. Here I'm going to show you a way faster technique using Affinity Photo, which is a way cheaper software. If you want to learn how to replace Photoshop completely with Affinity Photo, you should check out my in-depth tutorial right here. This one is only focusing on fast removing tripod for 360 filmmakers. Take a screenshot of the video you want the tripod to be removed. In Premiere, it's this icon to grab a still frame. Now go ahead and open Affinity Photo. Now just go ahead and drop in the screenshot we just got from Premiere or whatever NLE you use. You see it right here. And then go to Layer, Light Projection, Eagle Rectangular Projection. Now you see a 60 photo right here. And we are going to remove the ambisonic microphone, the clamp, all this phone. Why now? All this phone, why now? is actually recording ambisonic audio through the microphone. Uh, it's pretty advanced system to record H and ambisonic. Uh, it's, it's really glad I can use just the phone and not an audio recorder to record this. If not, that would be a big production. So this mic is actually very powerful. But again, this is not a tutorial about the microphone. It's a tutorial about removing the microphone. And, and you can't use an invisible uh, way or invisible selfie stick for this scenario because the Amazon microphone had to be as close as to the camera. So the sound speed would, would be the same. So no matter what, you need to learn how to remove the microphone in post-production. So luckily, it's actually very easy in Affinity Photo. Go ahead and just right here. Go ahead and hit the In Painting Brush Tool right here. Uh, you can The keyboard shortcut is the left bracket and right bracket to increase the brush size. And around right there, you can just go ahead and cover the microphone. I will only cover the thing you want to remove, like so, and let go your mouse. In painting brush too, will do its job, and boom. There you go, the whole thing's gone. Now, you see that line right here? I'll try to kind of blend this line a little bit better. You can let go. So now, the whole thing is gone. Go ahead and select the selection tool. Hit edit light protection again. Now you see the tripod is gone. But this is just a still image. We're going to use this as a plane for our actual video. So go ahead, go to layer, light projection, remove projection. Now back to the eco rectangular photos. And go ahead and draw a guy around right here is where I want to cover as a plane. Go ahead and hit this button right here to create a layer mask. And then go ahead and hit A right here, gradient tool. And just go ahead and hold down shift keyboard. Actually drag the other way to create a layer mask, a gradient layer mask. Uh, I want to cut out the entire area, the top area. So go ahead in the gradient tool, we select this section, this section to be black, so now this whole thing will be transparent. So that is the plane we need. So go ahead and hit File, Export, Export PNG. That's all right. Go ahead and export. Name it as plane. Now go back into Adobe Premiere or whatever NLE you're gonna use. Just go ahead and drag that. In the top layer, extend that. It's a long video. As you see, before, after, look down. Before, after, before, after. So sometimes there's some color variation. Uh, if that's happened to you, just go ahead and drop a color grading effect. Uh, I to go ahead and just use Colorista from Red Giant. And just go ahead and reduce the mid-tone. Now we are totally blend in with the environment. And you can actually animate that, by the way, uh, if the lighting is changing. So you have animating play as well if there's a cloud moving the sky and really mess up your plane. So see? What if the lighting is changing or there is shadow crossing the tripod legs? What if you are dealing with stereoscopic 3D 360 footage from a professional level camera like the Insta360 Titan? You want to have a technique to dynamically remove tripod. 
Lots of VR filmmakers make excuses for their laziness. You will hear excuses like, People never look down anyway, so I wouldn't spend the time to make the forest tripod removal. Well, what if the client demand you to do so? That is why you should check out my 360 Filmmaking Masterclass. I will show you how to dynamically remove tripod and a lot more advanced 360 techniques to help you become a real professional in 360 Filmmaking. I put the link right here, go check it out. So I'm gonna sign off, now I'm gonna actually film some view to see VR. See you guys next time. Way too many canned fizzy goods enough for like one person to consume. So I was thinking, we post up at the park, charge double the amount per can, and sell it to the hipsters. They won't be able to say no, they love that ish. Okay, okay, I'm liking this entrepreneurial spirit. When? Dude, today. It's not like we have anything better going on. I'm gonna protest your stand! <laughs> I do. I miss my conservative trolling hour. My parents are hippies, you know, they've got to... Oh my god. <laughs>